Justin Bieber is back in the spotlight with a new single, a new album, and an accompanying documentary series to boot. But the pop superstar also has an acting role in the works for a brand new cinematic universe. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Matt Rogers. Justin Bieber's creative achievements are nothing to scoff at, but acting is not the first of his skills to come to mind, and he hasn't exactly proven himself previously. I didn't have anything to do with the bombs, I swear. I just bought the airplane. I believe you. But what's the deal with your brother? He's got a house in Old Henderson. Where? I'm landed. Landed. Good man. You better hurry. That show at the funeral was just fireworks compared to what's coming. Bieber has had some acting cameos here and there, but never a starring role. But he's now been given his chance to shine in the title role of the upcoming animated mythological film, Cupid. The newly established Mythos Studios, founded by Marvel Studios chairman David Maisel, have announced three feature films, all based in the universe of Greek and Roman mythology. And Cupid will act as a foundation for the Mythos franchise, much as Iron Man did for Marvel's cinematic universe. Cupid, as you probably know, is the god of desire, eroticism, attraction, and affection. But I'll get more into Cupid's story shortly. Alongside David Maisel, Mythos Studios was co-founded by Bieber's manager, Scooter Braun, who had this to say about the new venture. Quote, when David and I launched Mythos, we knew we had something really special in both our shared overall vision and the IP we wanted to bring to life. We are thrilled to have best-in-class creatives and executives to help make these stories a reality. But what are the three films? So the first, of course, being Cupid, who will be directed by Pete Candeland, most known for his work in music videos, and I'm certainly up for a movie in his signature art style, which I think we got a little bit of a taste of in the concept art. The second film will be helmed by Kevin Adams and Joe Zander, recently known for Netflix's Next Gen. Their film will be titled Fathom and will be penned by Futurama writer Kristen Gore. Fathom will be based on the 1998 Aspen comic and follows the story of Aspen Matthews, a marine biologist who discovers she comes from a race of advanced underwater creatures. The third film, entitled Soul Fire, will also have Adams and Xander in the director's chair and will have Bo Yon Kim and Erica LaPolt writing the screenplay, these two being known for Star Trek Discovery. Soulfire also comes from Aspen Comics, who has been brought out by Mythos Studios, by the way. In this film, we follow Malachi, who learns he comes from a lost age of magic. He is joined by Grace, who is a winged goddess who will fight alongside Malachi against an evil lord of technology. David Maisel has commented on the three films, saying, quote, We are tremendously fortunate to have found brilliant creative partners whose artistry and storytelling talent will help us bring these very distinct yet universally themed stories to life on the big screen. These three projects reflect our vision for Mythos Studios, which is to immerse viewers in cool, animated universes based on contemporary and classic mythologies that resonate around the world. We're excited to be moving forward with these films. But what will Cupid be about? Well, it has been confirmed it will follow the story of Cupid and Psyche, who is yet to be casted. So for those of you who aren't familiar, I'll give you a rundown on their story. And I guess a possible spoiler warning is required. Psyche is a beautiful princess. So beautiful that it makes the other gods jealous. Especially the goddess of love, Venus. In an act of desperate revenge, she orders her son Cupid to make her fall for a hideous beast. But as soon as he lays eyes on the princess, he instantly falls in love with her. He becomes her husband, but he cannot reveal to her that he is a god, or she will realise who his mother is and why he came to her in the first place. Because of this, Cupid decides to only visit Psyche at night, but eventually Psyche disobeys his orders not to look at him, and as a result, she loses him. She goes out to look for him, but Venus puts her through a series of cruel and difficult tasks in the hope of her losing him for good. Cupid can't stand being without Psyche, and he can no longer witness her suffering. Cupid and Psyche then put a request forward to the gods for their union. And in a pleasant turn of events, Psyche is given the gift of immortality, and the two of them marry in heaven. This story gives the impression that Psyche will be an integral part of the movie, but we don't yet know for sure that the movie will be true to mythology, but I can't imagine them diverting too far from this. But what do you think of this brand new animated cinematic universe? And who do you think should be cast opposite Bieber? 
I'll be chatting with you guys in the comments. But until next time, this is Matt Rogers, and that is all. Yeah.